Hey guys, and welcome to Healthy Start Online Edition. Today is May 16th, and our Healthy Start Edition has lots of fun things for us today. Uh, before we begin, if you haven't checked out our website, go ahead and give it a look go. That's www.elkfordearlyyears.com. Check out our Facebook page. It's the same name, Elkford Early Years. Never miss another event or a contest or anything happening around town. And we also have a Zoom meeting scheduled on Thursday mornings from 9.30 to 10.30 with myself. So if you want to connect or want to chat or your kids want to come and say hi, come and have coffee on Thursday mornings. Well, we've got a lot of fun store for you today, so let's begin. Before we start, I just want to say, though, one thing. We have uh, the long weekend this weekend, so I wish you guys all the best. Have a great long weekend. Get outside and go out and have some fun. Now, that being said, Miss Shauna has got a lovely scavenger hunt planned for this weekend for all of you early years kids. We have three prizes hidden every day with clues, so make sure you check back on our Facebook page. The clues will be posted every day on Saturday, Sunday, and Monday. There will be three prizes available to grab, and they will have er Elkford Early Year stickers on the prize. If you find it, one of those stickers on the prize, you know that's one of our scavenger hunt prizes. So if you find a prize or you're out and about and happen to see some of our stuff, please feel free to drop a picture in the comments below. Next up, we've got our Animal of the Week. This week's animal, can you guess what this week's animal of the week is? Hmm. I don't know. We'll find out. All right. See you soon. Chickens. <laughs> Chickens are all over the world. They live on every continent except Antarctica. Some people estimate there are over 25 billion chickens in the world, meaning there are more chickens than any other kind of bird. This also means there are way more chickens on Earth than humans. There are only 7 billion humans on the planet. Baby chickens are called chicks. They're born from eggs and take 21 days to hatch. Hens, or female chickens, will sit on their eggs to keep them warm enough for the chicks to come out healthy. Hens will also talk to their chicks while they're still in the eggs. Each chicken sound has a specific meaning, like their own language. <laughs> a chicken has more bones in its neck than a giraffe. <laughs> Chickens were domesticated around 8,000 years ago. Now you can find chickens on farms and as pets all over the world. Did you know that chickens have great memories? They can remember over 100 different people or animal faces. Chickens can be all kinds of colors, shapes, and sizes. Male chickens, called roosters, are often more colorful than the females. Almost all chickens have small heads compared to their bodies, with scaly legs and sharp claws. Chickens have full color vision and dream a lot like humans do. You may have seen a chicken peck at its food before. So silly looking. Chickens eat worms, insects, seeds, grains, fruits and veggies, and all kinds of other foods. Did you know that chickens are the closest living relative to the T-Rex? Wow! Chickens are awesome! What's your favorite thing about chickens? Thanks for watching! Welcome back, guys. That was a lot of information about chickens. People have chickens everywhere, and you know what? There's chickens in Elkford. I managed to find a few. Check out my next video on some local Elkford chickens. Chickens enjoy spending their days hanging out and pecking at random things. 
they enjoy fruits and vegetables and worms and grain. It's always nice to see some local chickens happy in Elkford. I'm happy I'm here in Elkford. It's a great place. Spring is in the air, everybody, and let's plant a garden. Watch the video ahead and see how to plant a garden. All right, guys, this is our activity for the week. We are planting a seed. Let me walk you through what you'll need today. Today, you will need, first things you need is seeds. Any kind of seeds will do. You will need some containers, anything. Get creative with your ideas. And lastly, soil. And a spray bottle, which is pretty fun. Now, I bought this dandy little thing at Kootenai Market. Relatively inexpensive. And some sort of container. Now, I have this because we like our gardening here. All righty, we're gonna go ahead and get Tage and he's gonna show us how to plant a seed. Hey everyone, I, my mom said I am going to teach you how to plant seeds. Excellent, Tage, what's the first step? First, put soil into the cup, by, like this, which is literally dot, this much soil. Are you sure that's enough? Maybe a little bit more soil. Little bit, put this much soil in for, for the plants to grow. Excellent. And then put this spoon back. It does get a bit messy. I'm planting roses right now. Can you show us the seeds? Here are the seeds. If you find these seeds... Hold them still. These are roses. Roses. Ooh, ooh, fancy. Okay, let's see you plant them. And then open the bag. Then get as much roses as you want. Today we're planting two roses. Ah, that's smart thinking. Hmm. Here's the two rose seeds. All right, let's see. Put them down in. Then you put it on the dot before you make a little hole for it bury it. Next, you need to bury it in soil and then... Wait, what about your other seeds? And this seed and these seeds are called watermelon seeds. <gasps> Yummy, you're going to plant roses and watermelons. Yeah, two roses and two watermelons. Now, if we can just get the watermelon out Sometimes it's hard work gardening. Yeah, and sometimes it's hard to get the seeds out, but here's the watermelon seed. Want to see? Oh, thanks. Yeah. That's a big seed. Yeah, the, the watermelon, the bigger the seed is, the, the more chance it will grow. And now, time to put it in. These seeds are different than the other seeds. You need to do that. You need to tunnel it in. And what else do our seeds need to grow? They need water oh. to drink. Just like we, but they, they eat sun. They do. They like sunshine and water. All right, go ahead and give those plants a spray. Only two sprays. It's not spraying. We'll be right back. We are having technical difficulties. We're back. And we're back. There's a little bit of a bad thing, but that's enough watering. And you need to water. If there's four seeds in there, you need to water it a lot. Oh, great. And this is what it looks like when it's done. But when it's grown done, this is what the watermelons will look like. And the roses will look like a stick, like this. Excellent. Can you spray my other plants? Okay. Now, boys and girls, what the most important thing to do when you have your seeds is to label them. Because nothing is worse than figuring out what the heck you planted. Sometimes it can be fun, but sometimes it, you forget. So always make sure to label those. All right, guys, this is Tage and Panit saying bye. Bye. Happy gardening. Yeah, for a first video. Bye. Boy.
All that gardening made me hungry. It brings us to our snack of the week. This is one of my favorite foods, and I just don't know anybody on this planet that doesn't like it. That's right. I'm talking about pizza. Watch the video ahead and see how to make your very own pizza. Next, we're working on a craft. We've got a fun spring craft today, a cherry blossom craft. Watch the videos ahead as Tage and I make our very own cherry blossom crafts out of popcorn. All right, everybody. For this week's craft, we are making a cherry blossom tree. And here are the items that you will need. There is a list posted on our Facebook page as well if you want to go ahead and gather those supplies up. But if not, you can do this craft at any time over this weekend, and hopefully it'll bring a little bit of spring to your day. What we'll need is some paper. We'll need a smaller sheet of paper, any color paper that'll fit over top. We need some brown construction paper for our tree. Now, I actually don't have any, so I'm going to get creative, and I'm going to use one of these to make my tree branches. We're going to need any type of paint. We're using watercolor paints here today. You will need some a glue stick. You will also need some liquid glue, a pair of scissors. And the best part about this craft, you will need some popcorn. You don't need very much and you get to have a fun craft and a snack at the same time. All right, guys, these are our supply lists. Meet you back here in a moment. Hey, guys, welcome back. Now, let's start making our craft. What you're going to want to do is take two pieces of paper. Make sure that one piece is slightly smaller than the other piece. And of course, you can use any color you like. I just happen to have black and white on. Then you make sure you put on a nice layer of glue. There we go. Once again, if you're using scissors, please, please ask a grown up or a, your mom and dad to help or an older sibling. Best to be safe than sorry. There we go. We got some glue on. I'm just going to go ahead and pop that right on there. There we go. As you can see, we've got a nice matte frame. What you're going to want to do next is take your brown, and I don't have any brown construction paper. I just have a paper bag and you can get creative i've used newspaper before you're going to want to make a nice tall tree trunk right there maybe it's a little too long you know it's really up to you how tall you'd like your tree to be and of course we're going to need some branches that is the best part. So I've got all of my pieces and arrange them like you like, as you wish. We're hoping spring will be here soon. There we go. We've got ourselves a tree. Now we get to glue it all in place. Just stick some glue wherever you'd like your tree branches to be. Notice I'm using a glue stick for this task. We do have liquid glue that we will be using for our popcorn and the hardest part about our popcorn tree is to wait for that glue to dry. 
We want to make sure these trees stay forever. Or for a good long time, at least. Here we go, guys. Pull on your branches. Take a little. There we go. Voila. We've got one tree. Now comes the fun part. Grab your popcorn and make sure you grab the liquid glue. This one right here. What we're going to do is dab our glue down. Look at that bubble. Put a drop here and a drop here. Honestly, dropping it like this will probably be the least messiest and the easiest way for cleanup. We all know how much little kids love glue. And make sure to use this supervised because, well, you just never know. There we go. We take our popcorn and we carefully place it on the spots with glue. Continue doing this and add as many as you like. Make sure to let it dry for at least an hour. Otherwise our beautiful work would have been ruined. Got a lot of glue there, so we're gonna put a lot of blossoms in there. There we go. If you poured a little bit too much glue, another thing you can do is just take your popcorn and dip it inside your glue. Maybe just enough for your popcorn to hold on. There you are. And there. And if you spill any glue, popcorn is a great way to clean it up. All right, guys. I'm going to carefully lift this up and I'm going to let this dry. I'll be right back. Hey, welcome back. I'm going to let this dry. Now it's time to paint. We're going to paint with, with red, orange, and pink, and white. Okay, what? this paintbrush is the one I'm going to start with because these, because popcorn can break very easily. And these are very, very. And this is how we paint it. Like this. Awesome, Tage. Well, we'll check back with you in a couple minutes. We can't wait to see your cherry blossoms all finished. Welcome back, guys. I hope you enjoyed making our craft. And I hope it brings spring to the air. Sometimes things happen. Especially with technology. Especially when we take a video and then we lose it. It just disappears into thin air. Well, that happened to me. Anyway, without further ado, this is our craft finished. Paige did a great job painting it. I can't wait to see yours in the comments below. I hope this video will bring you guys a little bit of spring and a good snack because popcorn is pretty good. And I hope I figure out what happened to my video. Anyway, next we'll be reading a story by an author named Robert Munch. And the story is called Mmm Cookies. Enjoy. Mmm Cookies by Robert Munch and Michael Martchenko. One morning, Christopher found a big pile of play clay in the basement. Wow, said Christopher. I love play clay. He took a piece of red play clay and whapped it in his hands. Whap, 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 whap. Made it nice and round. Swish, 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 swish. 
covered it with yellow icing, glick, 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 and put some raisins on top. Plunk, 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 plunk. Then Christopher went upstairs and gave the cookie to his mother. Oh, said his mother, that's so nice. She picked up the cookie and took a big bite. Scrunch! And she yelled, Yuck! Play clay! Glah, 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 glah! She ran to the bathroom and brushed her teeth for a long time. Scritch, 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 scritch. And Christopher got another piece of red play clay. He whapped it in his hands. Whap, 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 whap made it nice and round, swish, 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 covered it with yellow icing, glick, 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 and put some raisins on top, plunk, 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 plunk. Then he went upstairs and gave the cookie to his father. Oh, said his father, that's so nice. He picked it up and took a big bite, scrunch. And then he yelled, Yuck! Play clay! Glah, 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 glah! He ran to the bathroom and brushed his teeth for a long time. Scritch, 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 scritch. Then Christopher went to school. His parents called the teacher and said, Christopher is giving away play clay cookies. Don't worry, said the teacher. I know just what to do. She got some red play clay and whapped it in her hands. Whap, 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 whap. Made it nice and round. Swish, 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 swish. Covered it with yellow icing. Glick, 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 glick. And put some raisins on top. Plunk, 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 plunk. Then she put the cookie on Christopher's chair. Christopher said, Oh, a cookie. He picked it up and took a big bite. Scrunch. And he yelled, Yuck! Play clay! Glah, 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 glah! He ran to the bathroom and washed out his mouth. Burble, splat, splitch. When Christopher came back, the teacher said, And now let's make some real cookies. All the kids yelled, Yes! And when Christopher was done with his cookie, he took it home to give it to his mother and father. Hey guys, I hope you enjoyed our story, mm, Cookies by Robert Munch. We're going to wrap up our healthy start. Thank you so much for joining me this week. And before we go, we've got one last video and a very special, special, special guest video. She's a very special lady here in town, and she knows practically all of you. You all started out in her class. She taught you to count. She taught you your ABCs and your one, two, threes. She taught you the colors and the shapes. I'm talking about Miss Becky. And Miss Becky, we really miss you. So I'm very pleased to announce a very special video message from Miss Becky. Please drop a comment in the comments section below telling Miss Becky how much we miss her. This is Panit signing off for Healthy Start. I hope you guys have a wonderful weekend. Stay safe, stay healthy, and keep washing those hands. And now, a public service announcement from Miss Becky. Hi guys, Panit asked me to come on and make a little video to say hi to you guys since it's been so long since I've seen you. I miss you. I hope you're having fun with your mums and dads and getting outside and pretty soon you're going to get to see all your friends so hopefully I'll see you out and about. Remember to keep washing your hands and sneezing your elbows. Bye!